less than uh, 30 seconds away now from uh, drogue deployment. Uh, the uh, drogue deployment, these two chutes uh, will uh, provide um, braking and uh, stabilization prior to main chute deployment. Standing by now, continuing to monitor. Can we get two drogues? Roger that. A report of uh, two good drogues coming up now for main chutes. Standing by for confirmation of uh, main chutes. It really looks great. An extremely loud applause here in Mission Control. Control, pretty good. An extremely loud applause as Apollo 13 on uh, main shoots comes through loud and clear on the television display here. And here we have our Apollo 1 has a visual 110. Here we have Roger. Apollo, Apollo. A recovery helicopter has just put in a call to Apollo 13. Apollo 13, Apollo 13, this is recovery, over. Uh, we have a report uh, from the Iwo Jima that Apollo 13 uh, at a distance of four miles from the ship. The smoke you see is uh, venting of RCS uh, propellants, a uh, reaction control system propellants. Uh, you heard the uh, conversation between uh, the recovery helicopter and uh, the crew of Apollo 13. The floor of the mission operations control room uh, now crowded. Uh, uh, there are visible smiles on the faces of the flight controllers and astronauts uh, in this room. The recovery of Apollo 13 is descending through 2,000 feet. Okay, I'll cover you concur. Hammer, Roger. A uh, report from the Iwo Jima that uh, Apollo 13 is descending uh, at a point four miles due south of the ship. as we had splashed down. Photo one splashed down at this time. The uh, three shoots are displaced in the water. He was here to ride around. This photo one that took command module is stable one at this time. So ride it comfortably. The uh, spacecraft splashed in stable one. Uh, that's uh, with the apex cover up out of the water. Craft, is that the command module? Yeah, the uh, next uh, step in our sequence is to open the hatch. The uh, three Apollo 13 crew members will be hoisted uh, up into the uh, Recovery One helicopter by the uh, Billy Punet. Uh, the 